I am Tujasha from Tujasha's World, of course, and uh, today I will be introducing you to an IoT based remote uh, sensor data acquisition system and control, uh, which is obviously um, you know dedicated to more, like most of our devices for the industrial, se the educational sector as well as the domestic sector. Now, the point is that uh, why do you need to see such a device uh, or you need to uh, consider my particular system when there are maybe thousands of such uh, works uh, available in the internet as well as YouTube. Now the point remains that you know all these devices at some point of time they tend to have certain kind of limitations or uh, you have a very limited applicability of those devices and uh, mostly the very most important point which maybe most of those uh, devices uh, do not tell you is that you know they are based on Arduino based platforms or any kind of platform maybe a PIC or or an, or an Atmel or AVR and all these platforms are very much you know they are they are viable to uh, to be copied uh, by people out there and obviously you need to use their own um, IDE wherein you don't uh, have to uh, bother about uh, writing your own source codes and libraries so and you don't get to know what is there inside so like it's like you just uh, drag in a function you just call a function say serial dot print in and and you don't know what's going on in there maybe the experts out there will know but uh, you know for beginners or people who are uh, studying uh, on on this topic of iot and such a de development of uh, devices uh, they will never know what is there so it's mainly focused to such such sector where you know students are really uh, beginning to learn their make to make their own devices based on IoT uh, acquire some kind of sensor data from a remote location that can be some some level some temperature uh, pressure uh, humidity uh, moisture soil moisture uh, you can measure uh, even level you know flow mm. There can be n number of uh, possible physical quantities. You just need to convert uh, the measured quantity into uh, 0 to 5 volt scale and you can interface it with this particular system. Another important feature of this particular device and system is that you know, um, it is based on an IoT master slave uh, concept that I will be explaining shortly. Uh, so this gives you a flexibility to to remove the slave or add on slaves on the same line, on the same uh, you know the same uh, platform uh, and you don't have to change any kind of hardware for increasing the capability of your own device and nonetheless it's based on MSP430 uh, which is not uh, so much you know easy to copy right now as of now and obviously you get uh, you know Texas Instrument provides you libraries which are royalty free so you can download them you can Go inside their libraries. You can explore. You can learn. You can you can see the how they have uh, how they have configured the registers, and and you can make your own. So you can really get to learn out there. So let's get off started with the particular device. Now, what do we have today over here? Uh, there are a few things that uh, I have accumulated out here. Uh, first is a mobile phone that you will be needing uh, for uh, getting the data. Uh, you can also have it over a PC because it's a web-based uh, and not an app-based. So uh, I'm doing it over a mobile phone just to get it portable. Uh, this is the master device. The master device mainly comprises of a uh, master PCB uh, which have the MSP430 microcontroller there. As you can see, it's this one. This is the MSP430 microcontroller. This one. And uh, there is a... Um, control for a long distance communication that's a two wire communication that you have uh, which is mainly based on RS485 long distance protocol and uh, e there is a RTC out here uh, which is a battery backup based RTC uh, so it's from time to time you need to change the battery uh, this device works off a standard 12 volt uh, 1 ampere power supply so uh, the power isn't very complicated out there and uh, let's come to the side of the device you can see um, that uh, there is a 3 pin connector out here this one this 3 pin connector uh, is basically the 232 communication interface which uh, communicates with a GSM modem now here you can see that we are using a Quetel M95 modem with a baud rate of 115200 so uh, this particular modem it's a RF based uh, device those who have worked on GSM modem will understand what it is 
so uh, this this will basically communicate over the rs232 that's the uh, serial communication uart uh, rs232 protocol so this is where you can you can you can fix the device to the rs232 uh, and there is a particular selection channel wherein you can select that uh, you must be remembering right i i i said that this this is a this is a control based device so you can acquire the data from the sensor uh, and view it over uh, over your uh, iot and then you can control your particular sensor data for example if you're measuring pressure you can you can generate an output uh, at a long distance because this has a long distance communication so you can generate an output at a long distance where you can release the pressure or if you're controlling temperature you can you can switch on a heater or you can switch on uh, any kind of uh, cooling device uh, so it's basically a control output now this particular device is dedicated for water level control so uh, it's basically controlling two type of output devices one is the motor and the other is a valve so this is this particular selection selection jumper uh, helps you select uh, whether you are controlling a motor at the output or you are controlling a valve at the output so you can have a close look it's nothing but a simple jumper a two way jumper so when you select one and two it gives you the output as a motor control and when you select two and three it gives you valve control now another important point over here which we can see is the emergency control that is this particular jumper this one this is an emergency control that is due to some reason if you want an emergency stop condition it's a brake condition always in all kind of emergency conditions are brake conditions so Mm, this is right now you know shorted with this particular jumper so uh, that there you can have a you can have a normally connected switch out here so whenever you pull plug out this particular uh, with this this particular wire it creates an emergency condition and the output is stopped now uh, the gsm modem uh, is powered uh, with with a with a um, with a relay mm, the reason being that uh, like you know like for people who have worked on gsm uh, communication or gsm modems they will understand that uh, with with time it becomes really difficult uh, to reset the gsm device so uh, whenever there is some kind of uh, fault or error which cannot be taken care of uh, in your in your h command you can just you know just reset the modem and you have a power key for that but uh, controlling it over a relay has been a preferred choice for me it's just a personal choice you can go on for uh, for toggling the power the power key which is available with the modem uh, so it's just my personal choice now you can see there's a led out here this led will will glow whenever the iot transfer will take place that is whenever the device is communicating over the internet and it is sending the data to the mysql database which is showing you the output at your php website uh, so this led will 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 be on uh, for the for the for the duration when the iot transfer is taking place and as soon as the iot transfer ends uh, this led will shut down uh, the heart of the device is a micro a microcontroller that is msp432 uh, uh, xx series uh, or rather specifically it is built on msp430 g2553 uh, so uh, g series are always value line series um, it's very cheap it's the cost is somewhere around uh, one dollar per, per per device or one to one point two dollars per device so uh, it's a very good solution and you have a 16 kb of flash inside you have a lot of peripherals you have adc inbuilt 10 bit adc so uh, you know it's a it's a very dynamic microcontroller which has been used here are the sensor channels if you can see uh, these are the sensor channels there are four sensor channels this is channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 now if i open a particular wire from the sensor channels see it's a three pin right it's a three pin sensor channel so uh, these three pins are basically you can see the configuration is get, given out here the first pin is the input pin the second is the ground pin and the third is the five volt pin so if you are connecting any kind of active sensor that is if your sensor needs to be uh, needs to be uh, you know like powered from the device you can use uh, this 5 volt from here you can source up to this particular uh, 5 volt controller uh, can source up to 1 ampere of uh, current so all your it, that that gives around uh, approximately you can take around uh, 50 milliamps per load mm -hmm. so that's quite enough 
so that's a four channel 0 to 5 volt scaled uh, sensor interface and uh, I think that's uh, that covers most of the part we have over here uh, one small little thing you can see that the microcontroller has a serial number that is SP00002 uh, this uh, SP00002 is the serial number of this particular master which you will be requiring to view in your website or in the IoT website now if you are interested about the IoT link here is the IoT access link it says uh, http www.turjasusworld.in slash iot demo slash index.php please remember that this is a php website so please don't uh, mess around with the uh, with the uh, case sensitive uh, issues so keep the i capital o small and t capital and d capital and all these things as it is shown over here so now what we will see we will move on to the uh, slave device now the most important part is that you know, this uh, long distance communication from the master it can uh, it can control up to many you know slaves so based on the uh, based on the values measured by the sensor your controller has a set point now that set point will be given from the mobile and this will be done when we initiate the device or when we power on the device there will be an sms that will be sent from the gsm modem to the mobile phone and till the same place give the set point and you will give the set point which will be fed back to the device and based on that particular uh, set point it will be an on off control let me clarify this is not a PI or PID controller it is a simple on off controller so you will have uh, offsets in case of temperature or or such parameters where, where on off control is not desired but just to have an educational view of the IoT device you can always implement a PID control but the PID control needs to be implemented on the slave side and we have separate, we can build separate slave and interface with this particular master. Now let's come to the slave part. Uh, this is the slave device. As you can see, uh, there are two lamps uh, which simulate uh, the, the um, one simulates the um, pump and the other simulates the valve. And the slave ID is one. Now this is important because you see, uh, you can you can have you can have multiple masters connected to the slave. Uh, this master device is connected to this slave device. But you can always have you know like you can you can take another uh, slave and you can connect it. So it's a it's a um, it's a uh, four eight five communication, right? It's a two wire communication. 